Greetings, person currently watching this, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. So, I just went through one of the most... Oh my goodness. I can't even... I wish I... Uh, I didn't record it because I didn't want to make you guys suffer through it, but uh, I wish I, I should have recorded at least some of it. So that way you guys could see some of it. Basically, I'm trying not to kill these guys, and it has me running all over the island. And the thing is... Okay, let me get into a safe spot so you can see. So, that's the Wailing House. I had to get into there, and oh, by the way, stealth doesn't work. Even if you're sneaking up behind these guys, they will see you anyways. So, I had to sneak into that whaling house, which there's three guys camping those stairs. So you have to kite them away from the stairs. You go inside, you find Kat, she says, get me a first aid kit. So you have to run all the way over there. Mind you, you have the guys camping the stair set. So what you have to do is get them into this building and shut the door behind them. So then you get the med kit, you come back, you have to kite them out of the building, shut the doors behind you so they don't come inside after you. Then, you have to give Cat the med kit. When you come back here, there's more guys patrolling around here. They'll see you the second you have to open the door. So what you have to do is you have to screw with the game's line of sight mechanics to get them all bunched up, and because again, they're at different di distances. So you have to play with the line of sight mechanics, get them all bunched up, and then kite them into the room shut the doors behind you just so that you can sneak down these stairs and by the way these guys apparently they can teleport through doors to kill you if you're close enough to a door and i i think i have some footage so if anything i'll show you guys if you're close enough to a door and they get close enough to the door they will teleport through the door and hit you and you will die also another thing that made this even more messed up is in this game left click is fire but also the use key is fire you need to use the use key to close doors. So there was a lot of times where I would go to click the button to close the door to lock them in there, and Pierce would shoot one of them in the head. So I had to restart the entire section over again. Oh man. This is, this, oh man. I'm gonna stop complaining about it. Let's just get back into the game. So, we are going to the whaling station in order to try to stop Cat. And that is one thing I'll see if I can salvage that clip. And when they found out, they ate my flesh. And my flesh granted them powers and revelations. You are getting closer, truth seeker. The truth, the ultimate truth about the matter. The ultimate and ultimate resolution. Mind that it will only be a matter of time before I know how to create it. It will be the coming of God. Be very ancient and powerful. Someone with exceptional sensitivity to his dreams. This gift will lead him to this island. As I am the Oracle, I speak for him you cannot name. What has she done? So that way you guys can see it. There was an investigation, and it's basically revealed that Sarah lured 
Pierce here because he's the Truth Seeker, as the Leviathan keeps calling him. And apparently the Truth Seeker is the Chosen One. But, you know, it's different and cooler because it's not the generic Chosen One. Alright, so... Also, that weird... Um, it's revealed in the investigation, you'll probably see. That weird squid meat that was on the Hawkins dinner table? Apparently that's chunks of the Leviathan. Apparently he was just, like, tearing bits of himself off and just giving it to the people of Dockwater to eat for whatever reason. Hi there. Okay, so can't go that way. Travel this way. Ah, yes. Oh, and I can go in here and hide. So I'm guessing there's going to be something chasing me. Like a cultist or whatever. Called it. I'm just too good. All right. And you can't get in here because you don't know how to crawl. Ha ha ha. Stupid human. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I totally went over that way. That's where I'm at. Right over there. Can you, can you not get stuck on geometry, Pierce, please? We are in the middle of something that requires you to move very quickly. All right. Jump. Yeah. Do the superhero landing. You probably didn't. You're not cool enough for that. Oh, hey. More guys that I have to sneak around. Did I ever mention I'm not good at stealth sections? So that probably also is kind of the reason why I suck at this. Okay, so... That's good. He lost interest in me. Okay, I think he's coming this way. Oh, nope, he's going that way. That's great. All right, so you're just going to stand there like, what was that noise? Yep, you're just going to stand there like, what was that noise? Good. Excellent. Good. No, 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 no. Okay. Maybe I can't sneak past you. I think I might have to just book it. Or I can sneak past you? Screw it, I'm booking it. I don't have the patience to be stealthy. I think that's the main reason. And see, here's another thing, though. I kind of want to, like, look around and see if there's... Oh! Let's not go in there. Oh, we're supposed to go in there. No, we're not. Uh, okay. Hold on. I just... Hey there. Hi. Yeah, you just uh, stay on the floor. That got me good, by the way. That was really good. Okay, let me sit down here. It's happening. Well, yeah. I mean, you kind of figured that out from the beginning. Don't you just hate... Well, what other game had that? Fallout. When your guy, yeah, at the beginning, have, did you, um, if you inspect the bodies at the beginning of Fallout 4, you know, he's like, he keeps saying that, he's like, what's happening? W w why is this happening? And all that crap. It's like, well, it looks like everyone just, you know, and that's the thing, I think there was a terminal saying that there was a, a riot amongst the uh, Vault Tech staff, wasn't there? So he kind of knows what's ha- oh, okay. Enter. Ooh, here we are. Pierce crossed the docks, where old acquaintances and new faces met their ends. All over the place, Leviathan's slaves were wandering in search of a victim. After finding his way through, and after discovering the truth about the origin of the cult and its founders, Pierce finally reached the whaling station. He hopes to catch Sarah Hawkins before she does something bad. Yes, it could have just been like before she does the unthinkable, or because she does something she does before she does something very unfortunate. But I guess bad works as well. Sarah is with those bastards. I gotta find her quick. Use that to hold the reservoir back.
another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. Looks like a page from a log from 1847. Sorry about that. I just remembered that uh, in all my trying and retrying and failing and refailing that I had forgotten to allocate the CP that I had. All right. So we need to go up a bit higher. Ah, let me guess. This is the office, correct? I'm willing to bet it is. Yeah. Access to the office. Enter. Okay, let's see what we got. Looks like we got a fuse. No, that's a knife. I'm lucky if it's still sharp enough. This knife is rusty, but it still looks usable. Okay, that's good. I guess. Pretty sure I want to know what we're going to use it for. Okay, so, uh, oh, dang. Oh, hello. What's this? It mentions the Leviathan. How it drove the sailors mad. Really? Friday, 27th, June, 1847. 37 degrees north, 63 degrees west. The whole crew has descended into madness. They speak of dreams, visions of a nightmare city, and of a sleeping god. Madness. I locked myself in my cabin. I won't be able to hold out for long. Fitzroy has 12 men on his side. They sacrificed everyone who tried to stop them to their own or their new god. I beseech you, almighty god, to have pity on our souls. This will be my last prayer. I can hear them whispering. Oh. So, yep, no, that's, so my suspicions were correct. Doesn't work. All right, let me see about this way. I'm guessing this is just going to lead to where the reservoir is. I'm guessing. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, see that little uh, ring on the tippy top? I'm going to use that rope probably right there. This tank seems strong enough to break down the door. Yep, that's what I thought. I'm going to use it like a battering ram. Okay. So I need to use this here. And that's why I'm guessing this is busted, and that's why we need to do it. Because we're going to use that like a battering ram. But we can't use this to make it, like, you know, go over that way. So what we're going to do is probably, I'm guessing, maybe. Maybe we will have to use this eventually. Either way, we need to do this. Considering the age of this place, that's quite quiet. I thought it was going to be, like, ear-splittingly loud. No, no, they didn't make it through. So, you. Like so. And then there. This should stop the cart from moving. Yes. This should help me get the tank swinging. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's, um... No? I need something to cut the rope to release the tank against the door. Well, I was right in that assumption. So then maybe this one is... You know, so maybe this one's like X... Um, yeah, like... Is it XY? 
it's this way, and then this one is this way. That's what I'm trying to get at. Right now is not the time for me to be thinking good. All right, Rusty and I, on the thing. Do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I got two more CP, even though I think we're right at the end of the game, so that doesn't really help much. At least I don't think it does. Either way, you know what, hold on. I'm just going to put this real quick, because I wonder... something. I'm going to try something. So, I want to put this into Eloquence and Psychology, just in case one of those comes up during this. You know, maybe I can talk her out of this using Psychology or Eloquence. So, I want to have those as high as I can. Oh, my. Whoa. All right. Oh, hello. You look important. What are you? Hmm. Oh. What is that thing? Oh, I didn't even see that. Uh. No, screw you. I'm gonna go over here. That voice. You're the Leviathan. I knew it. So that's this rotting corpse. And I can't do anything to get away from it. Yeah, I have to go that way. All right, real quick. Uh, no, no, stop, stop, stop. I just want to do this real quick for you guys. Um, where would it be? So here's the thing for the where we're at right now, I think. No, this is where um, Sarah fought the... Yeah, okay. So, ah, uh, here we are. The Leviathan. Stellar larva. Offspring of the Earth. Leviathan is seen, feared, worshipped, and named by men. It is linked by its dreams to the one who sleeps and will not find rest until its divine progenitor is free. There is no greater predator on Earth, and yet this being that feeds on huge creatures will never directly attack men. It will instill fear. The dreams of... I have... Relith? Relith? I think it's Relith. And finally, madness into the minds of those who it chooses to serve its designs. Cursed are those who cross its path, and more cursed still those who hear its voice, because for them... No salvation in death. Extracted, taken from the Necronomicon by Abdul Ad Hazarat. All right, so I think we have to go to him. I don't think we have a choice. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Sarah? Can I get past him? Can I walk on his weird plushy lumps? Nope. All right, let's talk to Sarah, I guess. Oh, did he grab me? I kind of feel like I had no choice in that. Nope. Can I just, like, walk away? What happens if I just walk away? Ooh, I can hear sounds. What are these noises that I hear? No. Nothing. You think this is getting on the Leviathan's nerves? <laughs> you think you just, like, go to the phone. The phone is ringing. Go to the phone. Anyways. Let's just go ahead and answer this phone. Hello? This better not be a telemarketer. Hello. Who is this? The quest for truth requires sacrifice. There's no room for compassion. Who's there? Your stubbornness. Wanting to help others who would have deserted you is a weakness. Fate leads us inevitably to poverty, and in one's final moments, one is always alone. You can't escape it forever. It will always find its way. Damn it! Oh, hi there. What you up to? Kind of banging on my door. You know you have arms. You could just use those arms instead of your face. I mean, I know you have the whole mask thing going on, but I highly doubt, because it's made of wood, so I highly doubt you actually had the fourth side of, like, putting padding there, so you're probably still hurting your head. Either way, let us continue. Ugh. Where are we now? Oh, hello. Everything points back to the day they brought in that thing. Well, yeah, I just kind of figured that out already. All right, the Scylla Crew, 1874. A forgotten photograph in the offices of the whaling station. Only a handful of the Scylla crew is present. 
Captain Fitzroy and Dr. Fuller are included. It is dated 1847. Isn't that Mr. Hawkins as well? He looks an awful lot like him. Is there anything written on the back? Nope, nothing written on the back. Okay, get some oil. Let's see if there's anything in here worth grabbing. No. Oh, hello. While the sailors were going insane, Fitzroy and the mutineers took over the ship and probably killed the captain. Well, yeah, our last, the last Aria entry we found said that. All right, hold on a second, please. Sorry, just needed to uh, wet my whistle. Okay. Thursday, 25th, June, 1847. 35 degrees north, 59 degrees west. Fitzroy encourages the men all day. They are in shock and can't overcome their trauma. They say they can hear the screams of their comrades turned mad. Some of them hurt themselves in a desperate attempt to stop the visions that haunted them. Others choose to embrace them. Fitzroy is one of the latter. He named the beast Leviathan because he believes in its biblical nature. I told them to get rid of it before it's too late. This thing is not the work of God. Oh, hey, there's another first aid kit. That's interesting. Ooh, hello. Can I pick you or will I fail miserably? An old log. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Monday, 24th, May, 1847. 42 degrees north, 70 degrees west. We have sailed from the island of Darkwater towards the north. Sailors say that these waters are haunted. I don't believe in these tales. It's not a good time for us. My men haven't seen the slightest trace of a whale for quite a while. If this season doesn't improve, they will no longer wish to serve on the Scylla. Sunday, 30th, May, 1847. 47 degrees north, 55 degrees west. We are not the only hunters here. While we are, were looking for a prey, we found dead whales, dozens of them, drifting, their entrails exposed. They had been shred, as if they had been attacked by a huge predator. It's very strange. Perhaps it is a sign from God. Perhaps it is this good catch that we have long hoped for. We must find it, whatever the risks. Belonging to the captain of the oh. Scylla. The pages I found seem to be the missing ones. Oh, hey. Excision of the Madness Stone. Beliefs and other superstitions have sometimes contributed to the development of medicine. Several centuries ago, it was thought that a patient with a mental disorder had a stone of madness in his skull. A trepanation of the skull and excision were thus performed. Sometimes the patient survived, sometimes he was cured. Today the vocabulary was changed, but the methods a little less. Oh yeah, trepanating. That's where they, uh, basically they drill a hole into your skull. And I believe the idea was, um, uh, nowadays I think they just use it to relieve excess pressure in the brain. But can you, can you not, Leviathan? I'm trying to talk about something that I don't really know that much about because it was like high school psychology that I took over a decade ago. Okay? Okay? Be cool? That. That. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, um, so that's what I think they use trepanating for nowadays is to relieve excess pressure in the skull, you know, pressure that's on the brain. And there's, I think, a myriad of reasons why there'd be excess pressure on the brain. But I believe that the actual reason they did it, at least during medieval times, is that they believed there was, like, evil spirits in your brain. And that, you know, when you trepanate someone, I believe you can actually see, like, visible smoke coming out. I think it's more of steam or something. And they thought that that was the evil spirits leaving the skull. All right, anyways. If anything, I would highly suggest you look it up for yourself. Don't take what I say as any form of fact. Can I just jump in there? There's more. Oh, ew. I'm avoid those bits. So, are those like your children or something? Is that what we have going on here? Or are those bits of you? Maybe it's just bits of you. So, okay, it looks like it's just bits of you. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Oh. They eat his flesh while he's still alive. Well, by the sounds of it, he's oh, perfectly okay with it. If anything, he's encouraging them to do it, so it's not like he's the victim here. Oh, hello, crawl space. What will happen if I crawl into you? Nothing. Why do you exist? Okay, this is a crawl space of nothing. Hmm. Oh, no, that's on every... Okay, never mind. Oh, hello. What's this? Can I... Can I just... Ah, okay. Yeah! Do the thing for whatever reason. I really have no idea what's going 
I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of just... Okay, hold on. Before we go this way, let me check the other place. Because I... Oh, um... Oh, probably because I looked at the in the general direction of the Leviathan. Okay, so... There's a door here. I'm guessing you're locked, and that's why we have to go through there? Let's find out. Yeah, success! Even though this door has two locks. Yeah! Progress! I'm guessing that's the way I would have came had I failed it. Yes. And I'm guessing that would have affected my, uh, sanity. Are you another trap? No. I will resist and bite to the end of my days. Hello. Ooh. Oh, hi. See, you just ruined my whole, like, I was going to make a joke about, like, you know, the chains and the straps and you, you leviathan and tentacles, but then your ugly face just had to come in and ruin it. Every freaking time. Ah, finally awake. Ah, yeah. How do you feel, Mr. Pierce? Uh, Fuller, son of a bitch, I'll kill you. That's one response. <laughs> no. No, I'm not even really with you. Well, to be perfectly precise, I am with you. But not in this cell. What have you done to me? Me? Nothing, really. See, it's one of the exquisite effects of this incredible creature. Uh, Leviathan. I see you already know about it. Well, shall we begin? Begin with what? Well, whatever we're about to begin with, that'll have to wait until the next episode. Because I am all out of time for this episode. Still, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Bye.